大家好，欢迎你回到 C H I 一一四的频道，我是高老师。现在我们要开始学第九课对话二。第九课说什么？好的，跟我说，买东西，买东西。Hey everybody, this is Gao Lao Shi, and welcome back to CHI One One Four Preclass Videos. In this video, we're going to focus on the first part of Lesson Nine, Dialogue Two. If you watch this video and do what it instructs you to do, you will be able to accomplish the following learning goals. Number one, you'll be able to read, understand, and pronounce using correct tones all of the assigned vocab words for next classes in Class Quiz. Number two, you'll be able to read and fully comprehend on your own the textbook dialogue. And number three, you'll have a basic understanding of the dialogue's main grammar points. And there are two that we'll be focusing on here in this video. 准备好了吗？好的，我们开始吧。So let's begin preparing for the next class session by first listening to the audio of our new vocab words. As you hear the speaker pronounce these words, please try your best to mimic their pronunciation out loud. And if you want to follow along in your textbook, just turn to page two hundred and forty-eight. Lesson nine, dialogue two, vocabulary. One. 双 Measure word for a pair. Two. 鞋 Shoes. Three. 换 To exchange. To change. Four. 一样 Same. Alike. Five. 虽然 Although. Six. 大小 Size. Seven. 咖啡色 Brown. Coffee color. Eight. 种 Measure word for kinds, sorts, types. Nine. 黑 Black. Ten. 样子 Style. Eleven. 挺 very rather twelve. 他 it. Please go back and listen to this audio at least two more times, repeating out loud what you hear. Let's move on now and listen to the audio from the textbook dialogue. To follow along in your own textbook, please turn to page two hundred and forty-six. Lesson nine, dialogue two, exchanging shoes. 对不起，这双鞋太小了。能不能换一双？没问题。您看这双怎么样？也不行。这双跟那双一样大。那这双黑的呢？这双鞋虽然大小合适，可是颜色不好。有没有咖啡色的？对不起，这种鞋只有黑的。这双鞋样子挺好的，就是它吧。Please go back and listen to this audio at least two to three more times, just to make sure you can fully understand what both speakers are saying. Now that we've listened to the textbook audio, it's time to begin reviewing those new vocab words from Lesson Nine, Dialogue Two. So to begin using Quizlet's free flashcard system, 
All you need to do is scan the QR code on your screen here or click on the link below in the description section of the video. Let's look at the first grammar point from Lesson 9, Dialogue 2. This is how it appears in the textbook. Wang Peng says, 也不行,这双跟那双一样大. So this structure indicates that two things, two objects are being compared. In a negative sentence, you're simply going to put the adverb bu in front of yang. And in some cases, as you can see in this example above, an adjective is a added after yang, just to indicate that these two things are equally tall, good, expensive, beautiful, etc. 好,我们练习一下。中文怎么说? 中文怎么说? The Chinese book is different than the English book. 中文书跟英文书不一样. Here, we're simply stating that these two books, the Chinese one and the English one, are different. We're not specifying how they're different. We're not adding an adjective at the end. We're just stating a fact that these two things are different. 中文怎么说? My pants are different than yours. And here we want to specify how they're different by adding an adjective for big. 我的裤子跟你的裤子不一样大. Simply stating here that my pants are a different size than your pants. Here we're adding the adjective da at, at the end here to indicate that difference in size. 中文怎么说? I have as much money as you. And here you're going to want to add an adjective on the end. 我的钱跟你的钱一样多. Here we're simply stating that my money and your money is the same, literally many. In essence, we're saying I have as much money as you do. 中文怎么说? Dr. Gao and Mrs. Li are different ages. And here the adjective to indicate a difference in age, one being older than the other, is going to be da. 高医生跟李小姐不一样大 So here this structure is simply used to state that Dr. Gao, Gao Yisheng, and Li Xiaojie are different ages. 好,我们练习一下. Let's practice using this new sentence structure by forming both positive and negative sentences by combining the words below and inserting this structure where appropriate. You may want to pause the video here because I'm about to reveal the answers. 第一,妹妹跟姐姐一样高。This first sentence, 妹妹跟姐姐一样高,simply states that my younger sister and older sister are the same height. Let's look at how we would negate this structure. 妹妹跟姐姐不一样高 In this latter part, we're simply stating that they are a different height. So we put the adverb 不 in front of 一样 and don't forget the adjective follows 一样. 第二呢? 这件衬衫跟那件衬衫一样漂亮. So in the positive structure, we're simply stating that this shirt and that shirt are both beautiful. Let's look at the negative structure. 这件衬衫跟那件衬衫不一样漂亮. So here we're saying that this shirt and that shirt are different. They're not as beautiful as each other. 好,第三呢? 
你的电脑跟我的电脑一样贵。So in the positive structure, we're simply stating that your computer and my computer are equally expensive. In the negative structure, we could say 你的电脑跟我的电脑不一样贵。And here we're simply stating a fact that your computer and my computer are different prices. Let's look now at the second grammar point in Lesson Nine, Dialogue Two. This is how it appears in the text. Wang Peng says, "This shirt is small, although it's appropriate to the size." So the conjunctions 虽然 and 可是 or 但是 are used to link two clauses that are in contradiction with each other. So in essence, in English, they're going to mean the 虽然 means although, and the 可是 or 但是 means yet or but. It's important to remember that 虽然 can be placed before the subject or after the subject. And when you're in a casual conversation with your friends or 同学 you can leave off the 虽然 it can be omitted. However, don't forget that the 可是 or 但是 must always be placed at the beginning of the second clause. It cannot be omitted, which is what we typically do in English. 好，我们练习一下。虽然这双鞋很便宜。可是，大小不合适。So here we're simply stating, although this pair of shoes is inexpensive, however the size isn't quite suitable. So notice how clause A and clause B are representing two contradictory clauses. On the one hand, the shoes are cheap; that's good, but on the other hand, the size just doesn't fit; that's bad. 中文怎么说 ？The shirt is the right size, but it's too expensive. 我们可以说，虽然这件衬衫大小很合适，可是太贵了。So again, clause A is a positive, right? The shirt, the size, it's appropriate. Clause B is a negative. Too expensive, 太贵了。中文怎么说 ？Learning Chinese is not easy, but it's very interesting. Notice here in the first clause that I've left off. 虽然 Remember, you can do this in everyday conversation. However, in the second clause, I've included 但是 That must be in the second clause. 好，我们来看看这个句子。虽然这件衬衫很漂亮，很贵。In English, we say this all the time. Although this shirt is beautiful, it's expensive. But remember, in Chinese, the 虽然 can be omitted, but the 可是 or 但是 cannot be omitted. So here we should say, 虽然这件衬衫很漂亮，可是很贵。好，这个句子对不对？我虽然觉得这个电脑很好，可是我妈妈觉得不好。So if you're using this pattern and you have two subjects, here we have the subject 我 right me I and we have another subject 我妈妈 my mother. Whenever you have two subjects, the rule is. That the first subject must be placed after 虽然 So here we could say, 虽然我觉得这个电脑很好，可是我妈妈觉得不好
好，我们练习一下。Please join the sentences below by using this new sentence structure, and try your best to delete. Identical nouns and pronouns, especially in the second clause. In Chinese, if both clauses share the same subject, the subject in the second clause can be omitted. And please pause the video here because I'm about to reveal the answers. De. 虽然这个电脑很快，但是很贵。So again, clause A. Although this computer is fast, is a positive. Clause B, 但是很贵 However, it's expensive. That's a negative. That's how this pattern works with a positive, negative, or a negative positive. 好，第二呢。虽然这条裤子大小很合适，可是颜色不好。So again, let's look at this pattern. The first clause, 虽然这条裤子大小很合适 is simply stating this pair of pants, the size is appropriate. That's a positive. And in the second clause, 可是颜色不好 it's stating that the color isn't good. I don't like this color. That's a negative. 好，第三呢？虽然这个商店的东西很便宜。但是，不收信用卡。So again, in clause A, we've got a positive statement here. 虽然这个商店的东西很便宜 ，so although the store's products or items are cheap， 但是 ，however， they don't accept credit cards. 他们不收信用卡。That's a negative. So remember, when you're using this sentence structure, we need one positive and one negative. And in the second clause, the subject can be left out. It can be omitted if it's stated in the first clause. For additional explanations and examples of these two important grammar points, please do see your textbook, pages 250 to 251. Our first vocab word from Lesson Nine, Dialogue Two, is "shuang." Shuang, a measure word. For a pair, a pair of shoes would be 一双鞋鞋鞋 meaning shoes. Huan Huan meaning to exchange. Or to change. Yang, yang, meaning same, alike. And don't forget the character e here, normally pronounced first tone all by itself, switches to second tone because of the tone Sandy rule. It's followed by a fourth tone syllable. So we're going to pronounce it yang in this situation. 虽然，虽然 ，meaning although， 大小，大小 ，meaning size， 咖啡色，咖啡色 ，meaning brown， coffee color。种，种 ，meaning a measure word for kinds, sorts, and types. 黑，黑 ，meaning black. 样子，样子。Meaning style. It can mean style of shoes, style of clothing, style of pants. Ting, ting. It's an adverb meaning very and rather. And as you'll notice in the textbook, usually when you're using this, 
when you say ting hao de, meaning very good, notice that there's a de that follows the adjective. That's very common when using this adverb. And the last one, ta, ta, meaning it. For those of you interested in finding more resources pertaining to the study of Chinese language and Chinese culture, I would highly encourage you to visit the library resources page in Canvas. Once you click on the library resources tab on the left hand side of your screen here, you'll be taken to this page that you can see here on the right hand side of your screen. Here you can find helpful dictionaries, documentaries about Chinese history, Chinese language magazines and newspapers, Chinese movies, and English as well as Chinese scholarship on China. There's a ton of cool resources here, so definitely check it out. It was created explicitly for you. And finally, once you feel comfortable with all the new vocab words, characters, and grammar points from the first half of Lesson 9 Dialogue 2, don't forget to take the Lesson 9 Dialogue 2 Part 1 pre-class practice quiz in Canvas before our next class session. 好的,谢谢大家,下次见,拜拜。